Marlene Hutchinson, and welcome to Tips for Guitar Playing Success. As many of you know, I've been sharing my guitar playing tips every Thursday for more than 10 years. It's been my way to hopefully help you stay motivated, be inspired, and continue expanding your guitar playing journey. If you're interested in more learning resources, go to my website, marlenesmusic.com. And for anyone who's listening and feeling like you're missing out on all the guitar playing fun, you can easily get started with my super simple Learn to Play Guitar in a Day course. Now, on to today's tip. This podcast is brought to you in part by Gator. Whether you just need a bag to gig with on the weekends or a frequent flyer needing a flight-friendly TSA series case or a dedicated road warrior bringing your instruments on tour, Gator has a solution for you. For the stuff you love, guard it with Gator. Also brought to you by the best cyber sale is happening at Sweetwater.com's Cyber Week deals. You can save up to 80% on their huge selection of high-quality guitars, accessories, and technology. And 0% interest for 48 months on qualifying purchases. The link in the show notes takes you directly to all the best Cyber Week deals at the world's leading music technology and instrument retailer, Sweetwater. Today's tip is how to play Carol of the Bells in tablature. In today's episode, I'll tell you about a beautiful, albeit more challenging, instrumental Christmas song, Carol of the Bells. As always, I love to give a shout out to my listeners around the world. So this week, hello and thank you to those of you listening in New Zealand, Algeria, Ecuador, South Korea, and the United Kingdom. Now, before I do a deep dive into this song, I want to remind you about several other Christmas songs from previous podcast episodes that you can begin learning or revisit, including Jingle Bells, which aired on November 18th, 2021, The Twelve Days of Christmas, which aired on December 2nd, 2021, Jingle Bell Rock, Rockin' Around the Clock, and Run Rudolph Run, which aired on December 8, 2022. And also some traditional songs, Oh Holy Night, The First Noel, and Away in a Manger, which aired on December 15, 2022. So the instrumental song that I mentioned earlier, Carol of the Bells, is based on the Ukrainian song Shendrik and was written by Mikola Leontovich in 1914. It was later adapted as an English Christmas carol by American composer Peter Wilhowski after the Ukrainian National Choir performed the song at Carnegie Hall in 1922. It's been recorded by many artists, including Mannheim Steamroller in 1988, Pentatonix in 2013, and John Williams conducted a version of the song in 1990 for the film Home Alone. This song is played in 3-4 time and is a great one for dusting off or getting better at reading and playing tablature. You can find the link for the tab on my Thursday Tips blog at marlenesmusic.com. Now, I want to walk you through the process I use when I'm looking at a tab for the first time. Initially, I take a moment to get familiar with the layout of the song, which strings I'll be playing, and on which frets. That gives me a nice perspective of where my hands and fingers will need to be. 
For instance, if a tab shows playing in the first few frets and then jumps up to higher frets like 9 or 10, I want to be aware ahead of time that that movement or that change is coming. In this version of the song, you'll notice that there are a good deal of notes played on strings 1, 2, and 3. Until about the middle of the song, you'll be fingering in frets 1, 2, and 3. About midway through the song, you'll add in fingerings in frets 4 and 5. You'll also notice that the bass notes begin in what is referred to as riff 2. Also, towards the end of the song, you'll notice that string 4 is also played. Now, just a quick word to the wise. This song is played at a pretty quick tempo, 146 beats per minute. And you'll probably be tempted to start off playing it quickly, but that can make learning this song frustrating. Instead, and as I like to say, speed it up slowly. What I mean by that is begin at a much slower tempo while you're learning the song and then speed it up as you gain more confidence in your abilities. This song will absolutely get easier the more you play it. And then you'll be ready to ring in the holiday season. I hope this episode's tip has helped you to continue expanding your guitar playing skills and knowledge. If you'd like to learn more, please check out the many learning resources available at marlenesmusic.com. Thank you for joining today's podcast. And as I like to say, play on.